Hey guys, I wanted to do a favorites video. It's mid-March right now, so it's going to be like a February-March favorites. I totally forgot. I was in Jackson Hole, Wyoming uh, for March 1st through like the 5th. So after I got back from that, it just kind of got crazy with work. And then there was a snowstorm. And so I just haven't had time to like do anything. So I'm finally getting around to this. So this will be my like February-March favorites, a little bit of both. I just wanted to share some things that I've been loving with you. Not so much makeup, skincare, hair care, some randoms, fun stuff. So stick around if you want to know what I've been loving. So, so I'm going to start with hair products first because I have a few of them and I haven't changed my hair routine in a while. And when I was in Wyoming, I, I have, you know, like a, a box of travel size products that I just kind of go through when I'm going away and just bring out like little packets of shampoo and conditioner and soap and cleansers and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of use that as my time to like test little products because it just makes more sense because you're traveling, you need that stuff anyway, and you don't want to bring large bottles of shampoo and conditioner. So I've, I had this for, I want to say like almost two years. I was in the East Village at one of the Asian beauty stores and I was buying cotton pads and uh, with my purchase, like the girl threw in some samples and I finally used it and I'm so glad I did. It was a sample size of this brand that I had never heard of before. I wasn't familiar at all, even though I went, I've been to Japan, like I didn't, I've never seen this brand before, but it's uh, Ichikami, I think that's how you say it, is the brand I believe. Uh, it says Ichikami here, and then it says Karasi, Karasi down below. So I'm not quite sure, but I think that the brand is Ichikami. And they, uh, so I had a little packet sample of this, and then I remembered to go look this up when I got home. And luckily enough, these were on Amazon, a two pack for $24.99. Uh, I'll put a link below to that. And this is the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. I'm kind of nervous because I do get Brazilian keratin treatments like kind of like soon. I'm going to have to get one soon because once it starts getting humid and muggy and like rainy in New York, my hair kind of freaks out. Uh, and I haven't had one in a really long time, but I have a feeling that these are not going to be sulfate free. I have no idea because this is all in Japanese. If anybody speaks Japanese or knows anything about these and knows if these are sulfate free, please let me know. I kind of think it's a no, but uh, these are beyond amazing. So I usually wash my hair twice a week. I wash it on a Sunday in Wyoming after a day of like snowmobiling and I didn't wash it again until I was back in New York on Friday. And that I think is the longest I've ever gone and I think I could have gotten one more day out of it. It was kind of getting gross at the end, like not greasy, just like I wasn't loving it. Uh, but I think it was totally for this. And then so I finally got the the, two, the big size and I've been using it and my hair is just so soft. I've never been complimented like that you like that I smell nice or that my hair smells nice. And I hugged somebody yesterday and they were like, oh my God, your hair smells amazing. So I fully think this stuff, it is awesome. If you have dry hair, I highly recommend it because my hair is super dry. So this kind of like drank it right up. It's so soft. Like I didn't even have to put anything in my hair afterwards. It was just super, super soft, super, super nice. The scent is really like, really just fresh and clean. Um, a little bit like peachy, citrus, maybe floral. I don't know. I can't read what it says, but there's pictures of flowers and peaches on here. So love this. Uh, give it a try. If you are looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, absolutely love it. Another hair product that I have been loving is the Psst. I always love saying that, Psst, uh, tropical instant dry shampoo. I've used Psst in the past. I kind of just, I have a lot of sample sizes of uh, dry shampoos. I don't usually buy the expensive ones from Sephora because I think it's a waste of money. I think that like Psst and Batiste does like just as good of a job as anything you can buy in Sephora. Um, I was home at my, my parents' house a couple weeks ago and this was in the... Uh, 
in the bathroom and I used it and I just really liked the scent. I really liked how it didn't like weigh, weigh my hair down at all and it didn't like, sometimes with dry shampoos, it just kind of like, kind of like cakes in there and you just feel like you need to wash your hair the next day. But this didn't do that. I can use this for a couple of days and it just kind of lasts me. Uh, but the scent is really nice. It's not overpowering. I just really, really like that. So my mom had an extra um, can of this in the garage. So she gave that to me. So I've been using this as my dry shampoo of choice as of now. So love that. Some skincare items. I think I mentioned this, that I was getting dry patches, like kind of on the corners of my eyes. My skin is very, uh, dry. It'll get a little bit oily in the summer, like T-zone. My bangs are fine. Like it doesn't really get super oily up there. Um, but like mostly I would say dry. So I was just like breaking up, breaking out in these like dry patches. My skin has been relatively okay, knock on wood, uh, because I think it's because I went back on birth control like in September. And honestly, I think that's real. like whenever I go off of it or I, you know, I'm not on it, um, I will get like before my period, during my period, kind of all of the time breakouts on your chin and dermatologist, gynecologist, all of those people have told me that it's all, this is all hormonal. So, um, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about birth control, but my skin has still been dry and I've been looking for something to kind of combat that, especially with this weird weather that we've been having in New York. It was like 65 to 70 for a week and then it was it dropped down to the teens and we had a snowstorm and it's just been like insane so like when the weather changed so quickly my skin just kind of freaks out so uh i wanted to get something i tried a bunch of samples of things at sephora i loved the tasha uh, indigo cream, but it's like $140 or something like that. And so the girl also recommended this to me, which I, I got some samples of, and then I went and bought the full size. It's the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Um, this is the second item of First Aid Beauty I've tried. I tried one of their under eye creams in the past, which was fine. It wasn't anything to write home about, but this I love. So I didn't really know much about First Aid Beauty and like this is, this says it's intense hydration. And then the girl told me it's good for eczema, it's good for sensitive skin, it's good for dry skin. So I was kind of like, wow, this sounds like a miracle product. And so um, it kind of it kind of is. There's no parabens, there's no harsh chemicals or chlorants, and it's just really nice. I also just love that this was about thirty dollars for a giant tub. So like, as you can see that's all I've used. So like this will last you a very, very, very long time. So what I've been doing, I've kind of stopped using Luna for a little bit until my skin kind of like gets back on track. Uh, but I have been in the morning mixing this with a couple of pumps of the Ren, um, uh, Rose O12 moisture defense oil. So this is just a nice oil. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. It was pretty affordable when I bought it because I got it in a gift set. But, um, it's just a nice like rose scented oil. It's supposed to help with hydration. This alone does not do it for me, but I really like mixing these two together. So um, this, this is just awesome. Like this just blends into your skin really nicely. It just leaves your skin feeling soft and smooth and it's gotten rid of my dry patches. So can't complain there. Um, another product, and these are hard to talk about because it's an eye cream, it's an eye serum, and I don't, I'm 31 years old, I'll be 32 in August, and I am, you know, currently like okay with wrinkles and things. How do you really know if an eye cream works or until you get older? I don't know. So I don't really know how to talk about these kinds of products other than I like the application, I like the formula, that kind of thing. It was sent to me by the brand Swiss Vita. And they're available on, I, on Amazon and also on their website. They have a bunch of products. This is the only thing they sent me. And it reminded me of uh, Crazy Glue at first because it has like that kind of applicator. It's a gel like, it's called a cream, but it's like a gel like serum to me. And it's just really thin, which I really like because sometimes with the eye creams, they're just so thick and heavy, which like is great for hydration and great for nighttime. But this is great to put on in the morning and at night just to kind of like moisturize that area, but not like oversaturate it so you can't put on any makeup. So I've actually been really liking this. Uh, you know, it says it smooths the wrinkles effectively. I think, you know, 
and it has a good effect to fade darkness of your eye skin. So I, I don't know. So I can't really speak to that because I don't have those kinds of issues quite yet. I'll get a little bit of darkness under here. And, um, you know, but I do, I do like that. And I do like the, the, the packaging that it comes in. It's funny, but I, I do like that. One makeup product I wanted to talk about, and this I've had for years. This when I first started YouTube, and it's just getting on my feet, Girlactic offered to send me three products. And I've had this in my collection forever, and I kind of, it's just lasted forever because it's huge. It's um, 0.32 ounces, so you get a lot in there. I love the packaging of this. Mine has broken because I've been just using it forever. And I just wanted to show you guys this because, like, I'm almost done with it. It's a matte bronzer, and it's in the color Cabo. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it right now is because... I was just at Dwayne Reed and I saw that Girlactic had a big display there. So I'm guessing they're kind of breaking into um, a, a wider market. So that's great because before I thought they were only available online. Um, their packaging is really great. I love it. And it's the same as it was years ago. So this is just a really nice bronzer, especially for this time of year for me because I'm very pale right now. Um, and this is just a very nice natural kind of matte bronzy color that just gives you a little bit of life in your face but it doesn't look like it's super fake and that you you know were tanning or something like that just a light powder uh the mirror was really nice as well but again that broke somewhere along the way so i really like that and then the last thing is kind of like a two-parter and this is like another winter thing not really a makeup beauty thing but like a like a lifestyle thing so um i have never had a humidifier before and i kind of was on the fence about them because of the tanks and like the horror stories i've heard about mold growing in them and having to clean them every day and like i just don't have time for that i have so many other things that I have to do. So like cleaning a humidifier, just like it was not up there on my list. But for the past like couple of months, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and like need to blow my nose like a lot or it would be super congested and I wasn't sick. So I was kind of like, what is this? So I was attributing it to like the heat of the apartment and the cold outside and just getting congested at night. So I was like, why don't I try a humidifier? And I found this one on Amazon. I actually read about one on Cup of Joe, which is a blogger, but um, the one that she recommended was similar to this. It was a tabletop um, hum humidifier and it blows cold air. The thing I love about these are, which I should talk about first, is the feature that there is no tank at all. All you do is you fill up a water bottle that I've been just filling up with water from my tap and um, you just literally just screw this thing on top of it which comes with it it's like the filtery thing there so you just screw that on top with the water inside you put that down in here and then it just kind of like goes through you plug it in and then like it's a cool mist humidifier and so you can turn it like as as high as you want to I usually leave it in the middle and that will last me through the whole night and I'll usually wake up and there'll still be a little bit of water inside and I will tell you that this has worked wonders for me I haven't been congested since I've been using this and so just I absolutely love it um the one that I was going to tell you about the cup of joe one that she recommended the reviews on Amazon showed like a blue light on this, like a really bright blue light that kind of just like reflected everywhere and then had people painting like nail polish on it and stuff like that to like get rid of the light. This one just has a little light right here that's green when it's on and full and then it turns red if you run out of water in the middle of the night or something. And I don't like seeing lights when I'm sleeping so I usually like put um, whatever's on my like nightstand like um... I don't know, like a couple, whatever I have, like that's already on my nightstand. I usually just put it on front and just blocks the, the light, but this one's not bright at all. So I've been loving this. And then this is by uh, Perfect Air. I'll put a link below. I think this is about $30. This is also great because it's like super, like it's super, super lightweight. You don't obviously need to bring the water bottle with you. You could just have this and buy a water bottle wherever you are and um, refill it. So like you could easily travel with this. So it's awesome. Um, another thing that I've been using, which was a recommendation from my mother that she uses every day, uh, is the Arm & Hammer Simply Saline Nasal Mist. So I've just been using this, kind of weird. Um, I'm not a fan of a neti pot because I just do not like that sensation. 
when I've used it in the past, I've found it's gone like through my sinuses, like into my ears and clog my ears up. And so like, I'm not a fan of a neti pot. This, however, is just saline and you just literally kind of like squirt it up your nose and it like the same nostril and it just kind of comes down the same nostril just to like moisten everything and just get rid of any like junk that's in there. I know that sounds gross, but it's, you know, recommended to breathe easy, moisturize and clears everyday nasal congestion. So if you have allergies, if you have sinus problems, if you have, you know, live in a climate where it's either dry or um, whatever, this I think would be super helpful. It's pretty cheap. These last for a long time. Um, you're supposed to use it morning and night. It's also safe for pregnancy because it's just like, you know, saline solution. So this I love as well. I know it's a little bit random, but it has saved me this winter. So, so that is really everything. Uh, no real music, no real new music this month or anything like that. Just kind of these products that I've been loving. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.